So good morning, good morning everyone. Uh, today I'm uh, I'm here uh, to going to represent uh, how we can analyze the how we can do uh, drug discovery and development using computational method. So for that reason, we need uh, some uh, targets, protein of uh, of a particular disease and the list of of ligands uh, or a particular ligand that can inhibit. Uh, or can suppress mm, that particular target of a disease. So suppose we are going to uh, target the protein in SARS coronavirus, which is 6LU7. So for that uh, reason, we like uh, we can go on a PDV. Uh, it is a protein database, protein database that contain the theory structure of all uh, protein. And here you can find of your uh, under that uh, target protein. So for that reason, you need to search here. Uh, the 6LU7 is the uh, ID of a particular protein. Of, uh, of a spike protein of a coronavirus. So yeah, you can see here, uh, the 6 l is a crystal structure of a COVID-19 main protease. Sorry, uh, it's not a spike protein, it's a main protease in a complex with an inhibitor of N3. So you need to download this structure and analyze the downstream analysis, uh, downstream the analysis uh, on it. So for to download it, uh, you can go here and simply click on it and download it. After down, mm, downloading uh, this 3D structure, you need to prepare your protein structure uh, to do the analysis. So like uh, you can open uh, a software like Chimera for uh, the software is a Chimera for visualization of the a structure in a 3D format. And <clears throat> here you can prepare your protein structure for docking and MD simulation analysis. So first, uh, you need to download uh, the camera, uh, camera from the camera website. And here, here is a, an option. Here, uh, there is an option. There is an option that uh, you can directly fetch the uh, structure by tapping their uh, their ID. Like 6LU7 is a PDB ID. You can uh, type here and click on fetch. So it it directly fetch the 3D structure from PDB. You can visualize and see what type of uh, heteroatoms and sometimes some water molecule are there or not. So for that reason, you, you need to go on the structure and see. So there is uh, there is a peptide. I think this is a pep, uh, peptide structure. So sometimes you need to delete it or uh, leave it as leave it as it. So the protein structure, you can visualize what type of chain are there. There are two chain, one and C. So you need to delete the C uh, chain because it is not a part of the protein. So after deleting it, the protein structure is not prepared and you can save it in a PDB format uh, as uh, by naming it a clean protein uh, or clean target uh, for particular analysis. So after cleaning the structure, uh, we uh, we need to go sometime. Okay, so sometimes the people uh, don't have a structure uh, structure of the protein. Uh, like uh, there are lots of uh, uh, disease target that don't have a structure in the format. Uh, so for that reason, you need to uh, model it. So for modeling, you can use it. Uh, uh, there are lots of software, but uh, is a very reliable uh, software like Swiss model, which is the Swiss Institute of Bioinformatics. Uh, you can go here and uh, 
this is the website this is the server of the swiss model you can uh, paste here the put uh, the faster uh, faster sequence put in faster sequence of the particular target or their um, uniprot id here uh, after uploading it here like uh, suppose uh, this uh, protein structure don't have a uh, doesn't have uh, the structure so uh, pdb uh, pdb structure uh, so you uh, okay just a second you can open it here uh, the, if there are faster sequence and uh, so copy it here And upload the sequence here. Okay, so for uh, you need to search. Uh, you need to search the template. You need to search the tem template uh, to model uh, the structure because uh, to model in uh, there is no structure. So you need to uh, find out the template that are reliable that are um, that can that can model the structure according to the uh, their template according to their, their template for that reason you need to assess the template the template is depend on the their mm, lots of parameter like uh, gmq parameter their query sequence how much it cover the uh, range of the sequence how much uh, they uh, they are uh, they are stable what type of rmsd of the uh, of the model structure lots of parameter are there to uh, to uh, to make the structure uh, uh, consistent during uh, during for uh, during the analysis of MD simulation, so you need to model properly uh, the homology model of the particular protein. After that, you can uh, perform the uh, docking analysis, MD simulation analysis. So you can see the model is uh, is, is in process is in process, and uh, after that. After the completion of mm, this, uh, okay. And one more thing uh, that 3D model reliability depend on global model quality, that is uh, GMQ and qualitative model energy analysis, which means GMQ mean. I mean the uh, the value is a Q mean, and I will I will show you what type of result um, come after the template search. It will take some time, so uh, wait, uh, I think uh, four or five minutes approximately. Okay, so you can see here the model, uh, the template, uh, the template structure uh, is showing here, and uh, it, the protein structure is already available. Uh, I just copy the protein sequence uh, uh, faster sequence because uh, uh, the protein structure is already available. So the 
template you can see here is a complete uh, the GMQ score is uh, from one to zero and higher the GMQ score, uh, score better the um, better the their uh, uh, their template and QSQE score is uh, also like this, uh, like the same, and the identity is 100% of the sequence, and it is showing that method, uh, what type of method are used to more uh, to to prepare this uh, crystal structure of the protein X-ray and their uh, resolution 1.5 angstrom. So after uh, selecting the template, uh, click on the build model. After building the model, you can download the structure and refine it, and and, uh, and refine it. And uh, uh, also, you can uh, verify the structure. Uh, verify the structure in the publication. Uh, the review in the publication. Uh, if you want to do a publication on a homology model, then you need to verify. You need to. Uh, authenticate the structure by uh, different parameter like Ramachandran plot, processor server, saves, ERAT, and verify 3D, pass, um, pass analysis. These are the parameter that can uh, verify the structure of, um, of the particular uh, mo homology model. The internet is slow, very. So yeah, the model is prepared now and you can download by clicking it here. So after downloading the structure, after downloading the structure, you need to prepare the library of the ligands that, in, that can inhibit, that uh, have a property uh, to inhibit of a particular protein or a virus or any kind of uh, disease, uh, disease causing um, disease causing protein that involve in a uh, particular disease pathway. So for that reason, we we can uh, download the structure of the ligand. Uh, there are multiple libraries, uh, ligand library, phytochemicals library are available like a phytochemicals. Um, one of them is a, a PubChem. Uh, you can download the structure by uh, typing the name. Like curcumin is a compound that uh, uh, that are uh, that which is a natural compound and found in a turmeric, and and very effective on on uh, antiviral uh, have uh, antiviral activity, antibacterial, uh, anti cancerous activity. Lots of activity it has uh, it have, and you can download it. And uh, you can download in hundred of molecule and make a library and uh, analyze the hundred ligand in a particular protein. And uh, after docking, they give some um, binding energy. The lowest binding energy will consider that molecule is the best. And you can go for the molecular dynamics analysis to find their stability. After the finding stability, uh, go for the uh, in vitro analysis. So you can download the structure here and uh, save in a sdf format which is a uh, um, ligand uh, which is a for, uh, format that can use in a uh, docking analysis after converting in a pdb uh, after optimizing the structure and um, for that reason uh, after making the library of a molecule here i'm uh, showing only one molecule but uh, after making the library of a um, of 100 molecule uh we need to analyze uh we need to analyze their uh, admin analysis that 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 means the drug we are choosing uh, is the ability to uh, go for the is have ability to uh for uh, for drug, uh, for having, uh, for, uh, is the ability to, to suppress the particular target or not. So for that analysis, for that analysis, there are uh, some parameters like uh, the Swiss admin, which is a server for admin analysis. Admin uh, is, a, is a term like administration, uh, sorry, absorption, metabolism, absorption, distribution, uh, uh, metabolism and excretion of a particular drug. So for that reason, we need to copy the smile ID and paste it here and run. So it will give lots of parameters. 
most of the drug fail in a clinical trial because they are not following their uh, anime, uh, anime properties. Anime properties include uh, like uh, the Lipinski rule of five, the Lipinski rule of five, and which means the which means that uh, the um, molecular weight of the of the particular ligand is uh, not more than uh, five hundred, and you can see that curcumin have uh, less than five hundred. So uh, and um, the hydrogen bond donor is not more than five, and you can see the hydrogen bond uh, donor is two, and the hydrogen bond acceptor, which is uh, can not be beyond a ten, and is here showing that six, and that um, m log p values, m log p values uh, uh, is not more than uh, four point one five. So these are the parameters that uh, should follow the Rapinski rule and here you can see that uh, the curcumin is following the Rapinski rule without one without any violation and you can consider it uh, uh, with one violation but to not more than one violation otherwise the drug will fail in a clinical trial so there are lots of parameters we will discuss in a training we will discuss in a training and after um, after uh, filtering the ligands from admin analysis, we will go for the docking analysis. So for docking analysis, we will use Autodog Venus software in a Linux. Uh, so for that, uh, uh, you need to uh, you need uh, you need to download the uh, Linux uh, software, and um, there are, there are multiple commands that will we will use in a Linux. And uh, for that reason, we will download the uh, Vina, uh, Autodog Vina. And for th that, we need to type here Autodog Vina, and it will give you commands like this uh, to download the uh, Autodog Vina. And click here, and it will ask. Uh, So the software is downloading. After downloading the software, we will perform the uh, docking analysis. And after that, the docking result uh, will, uh, the docking result will be, uh, will be displayed and uh, it will look like something. Okay, I will show you how the docking result look like, okay. So yeah, uh, the Autodog winner is uh, something look like this. Uh, you can see here that uh, the mode is showing that uh, the confirmation of a ligand, um, uh, the confirmation is given is, uh, is a one to nine and their binding affinity. Uh, the binding affinity, uh, the lower the binding affinity, better the confirmation of a molecule that can properly bind to the pocket of the binding, uh, uh, of the binding protein. And uh, these are, um, yeah, he is also showing the six LU seven. Okay, the coronavirus protein. So the result uh, will be analysis and will be performed after the analysis of that uh, of that uh, of the docking. We will go for uh, uh, MD simulation analysis. Okay. 
so for md simulation analysis we all uh, we uh, we can uh, we will also download the glomax software which is uh, which is uh, the time taking and it will take uh, um, it will take uh, one two three hours uh, to download a uh, glomax software so uh, we will download it uh, on a linux op operating system with multiple commands and we uh, we will analyze the uh, we will analyze the uh, uh, Gromax software with uh, uh, with multiple parameters like uh, RMSD, RMSF, SASA, uh, uh, radius of gyration, hydrogen bond um, bo formation during the simulation time period, and uh, these are the parameters that can uh, that can uh, uh, that can explain uh, uh, how the uh, how the ligands are stable during the time of period of the of that with that protein so we can say that it is a lead compound for that particular uh, target protein and we can go for the uh, uh, we can go for the uh, in vitro analysis uh, to make a, uh, a proper drug to treat a particular disease or target protein thank you